Good morning, YouTube. This is Cruise Man back on the motorcycle for a little ride. Actually, I have to go to the grocery store this morning. Very exciting stuff. But it's been a while, it's been about a week since I, or a little more than a week actually, since I shot my last motor vlog because I've been out of the country. But I'm back. I was in Bermuda for seven or eight days on another one of my uh, cruise projects, which I'll talk about briefly right after we start the show. So welcome everybody to my moto vlog. As I said earlier, I'm on my way uh, home with an intermittent stop at a grocery store. And I was out of town for, or out of the country actually, for a little over a week uh, in Bermuda. And if you're new to this channel, uh, we typically spend our time talking about motorcycle stuff. Maybe it's uh, product reviews or accessory reviews or installation how-tos, tips and tricks, all that kind of stuff. Maintenance issues. If, uh, I, I do a lot of stuff on Honda Goldwing, but a lot of the information we talk about here is general to anybody that loves motorcycles. So if you have a passion for motorcycles, please take a second to click that little subscribe button down below and don't forget to click the bell icon so that YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. And that brings me to the first thing I want to talk about today are subscribers. While I was in Bermuda on the cruise ship, I got a notification from YouTube that uh, we had reached 35,000 subscribers on our channel. And I just want to take a second to thank all of you for your support. It's uh, quite an honor and a privilege to have a channel where I get to interact with you. Now, I have two YouTube channels. I have one for the cruise industry for my cruisereport.com website and I have another one for the motorcycle industry or for the motorcycle market and I can tell you hands down the people that I interact with through YouTube and through Facebook on the motorcycle channel are so much more pleasant to deal with than the people in the cruise side of the travel industry. I, I don't know why, it's just the way it is. Now every now and then you get an ass <laughs> comes on cruise man's garage, you know, you know, but it's it's really the, it's the exception. It's the 1% or the 2%. On the cruise side of the YouTube spectrum, on my, my experience, it's about 30%. It's just really, uh, it's an interesting study in humanity. So anyway, I want to thank all of you who have subscribed. I wanted to make sure to get that in today. In my last video, I talked about having a sense of danger when you ride the motorcycle. And I'm going to talk a little more about that in future motor vlogs. And what we can all do from my standpoint uh, to improve our safety when riding and I know it's sort of uh, maybe disingenuous while I'm riding my motorcycle and talking motor vlogging while I'm riding which in and of itself is dangerous you could, you could make that argument that doing a motor vlog while you're riding a motorcycle is certainly distracting to some degree. So my doing a motor vlog, I don't want it ever be misconstrued that I would encourage you 
to put a GoPro on your helmet and try to do a verbal uh, I don't even know how safe it is to have the GoPro mounted to this helmet should there be an accident I'm not sure what effect on the safety of this helmet would be uh, impacted by having a GoPro mounted to a helmet so it'd probably just pop off but you don't know so I'm not condoning motor vlogging I know there's some other uh, vloggers out there who they'll basically take video of the ride and they'll just do voiceover because trying to talk while you're riding a motorcycle whether it's talking on a phone or talking to a camera uh, is probably not the, the smartest safest thing you can do I recognize that so maybe I'm a hypocrite because I do talk occasionally about safety and things you can do to keep yourself safe when riding and certainly this is a distraction so I recognize that I've had some of you pointed out to me my brother included so anyway I'm glad to be back uh, as I might have told you in one of my previous uh, motor vlogs that we were scheduled to go to Alaska in September for a week and I got an email a couple of days ago saying that that trip has been canceled it was a small uh, boat that only holds like 65 people and because of the uh, emergence of the Delta variant they wanted to free up more cabins for quarantine purposes should it become necessary and Ricky and I being guests of the cruise line as media uh, we're the first ones to get bumped off so they they're gonna take our cabin and use it as a, uh, a basically an empty cabin in case they needed to quarantine someone and uh, same thing with like anybody that works for the cruise line that was going to be on that ship they have to give up their cabin too so bottom line is we won't be going to Alaska in September now there will be other cruise projects come up and and I mentioned this cruise I was just on if you're interested in any of that information I'm not going to talk about it here I've got a website with a blog and I've got a YouTube channel for Cruise Report. You can check those out. I'll put links in the description of this video. I want to try to keep the content on this channel as much to do with uh, motorcycles as possible. I don't talk about motorcycling on the other channel. Oh, maybe I do. A little bit. Not much. So, I am almost at the grocery store. I know this might be kind of a boring vlog because I'm, you know, like I say, I just got in town last night about 1 in the morning, got up at 6 a.m., went to Einstein's to finish up my blog for the cruise ship, and uh, so I'm a little, I'm a little uh, out of sorts. I have to get my, I have to get back in the groove of doing my motor vlogs. And uh, I'll be meeting, hopefully, uh, plan to be meeting Don for breakfast in the morning at a wake here in Carrollton. And I will be motor vlogging again tomorrow. So you'll get a couple of videos in the next few days. And for now, I'm just going to say thanks for joining me. Thanks for supporting the channel. Thanks for getting us to 35,000. And in case you're wondering, the goal for me is to get to a hundred thousand subscribers very very difficult to do with a niche oriented channel like this you know if I were a beautiful young girl talking about new tech products and stuff like that yeah I could easily get to a hundred thousand but when you're you know an old ugly fart like me talking about motorcycles uh, it's a limited audience but I still think it can happen I got to 35,000 and if I can get to 35,000 by God we'll figure out a way to get 50,000 and if we get to 50,000 we can get to 100,000 so may have to broaden the scope of the channel a little bit to do that without just you know destroying what we already have but uh, that's the goal 
I don't know why. It's just because I think it's important to have a goal. I'm going to go do my grocery shopping. You guys get out there and ride safe. It's a beautiful day here. It's about 83 degrees right now. I think it's probably going to get hot this afternoon, though. They say we've had some really hot days. In fact, I was in Bermuda, and it was cooler in Bermuda than it was here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. So I'm sure it's probably going to get up to close to 100 today. But I'm early in the morning. I'm enjoying this 83 degrees. It's relatively dry, not much humidity, so that's good. Anyway, you guys ride safe out there today. Put your comments down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Appreciate you joining me. I'll see you on the next Cruise Man's Motovlog.